In this video, I'll explain how to encrypt text using the Trifid cipher. So let's say we have the plain text, the dog runs fast. To encrypt this text using the Trifid cipher, we're going to first build three squares. Each of these squares is three by three, so it has three rows and three columns. And we want each letter of the alphabet to appear in these squares just one time each. Now, there are 26 letters in the alphabet, but there are 27 squares to fill in, so for the last square, we're going to use a plus sign. So to fill in these squares, we first have to pick a keyword. So for this example, I chose the keyword wolf. So here's what we do. In this first square, or sometimes they're called layers, we write the first letter of the keyword in the first row and the first column. So here we write W. Then we move to the right and write the next letter, so O, and then the next letter is L, once we've reached the end of the row, we just move to the next row. So then we write F. And once we've exhausted all of the letters in the keyword, we then just write out the remaining letters of the alphabet in order. So we write A, then B, then C, then D, E. And once we finish this first square, we move to the second square or the second layer. But instead of writing F right here, we've already written an F. So we'll just skip to G. And then H, I, J. K, and instead of writing L, we've already written an L right here, so we just skip to M, and so on. So once we've filled in these three squares, the next step is we need to pick a group size that we want to split the plain text into. So for this example, let's say we choose a group size of five. That means we're going to split up this plain text into letter groups of five. So here's what that looks like. So our first group of five will be the first five letters in the plain text, so T-H-E-D-O. Then our next group of five is the next five letters, so G-R-U-N-S. And then we'll notice for our last group, we can't quite form a group of five, but we'll just form whatever group size we can, which just happens to be four letters. Now what we need to do is go letter by letter and write down the layer, the row, and the column that each letter belongs to. So we'll start with T. We can identify that T is over here in layer three or square three. So we're going to write three for the layer, then for the row number, we can see that T belongs to row one, so we can write one, and then we can see that T belongs to column three, so we'll write three for the column. Then we move on to the next letter of H, so here's H right here. We can see it's in layer two, row one, column two. So we can write layer two, row one, column two. And we're just gonna continue in this manner for each of the letters. Now, once we've filled in all of those values, the last step to getting our ciphertext is we'll start with this first group right here, and we'll start in the top left corner, and we'll identify the first three values row by row. So here are the first three values, three, two, one. So what we're going to do is look at layer three, row two, column one, and we'll find what character does that correspond to. That's a U. So the first letter in our ciphertext is going to be a U. All right, next we move on to the next three numbers. Remember, we're still only working with this first group. So the next three numbers would be these first two, and then we'll continue to the next row. So it'd be this number. So we would have one, one, one. So we're going to go to layer one, row one, column one, and find what character corresponds to that. That's a W. So W is the next letter in our ciphertext. All right, then we'll move on to the next group of three numbers, which would be right here. So we have one, three, three. So we'll go to layer one, row three, column three. That corresponds to an E. So that's the next letter in our ciphertext. And then we move on to the next three numbers. So that would be one, and then we continue to the next row. So three, two. So one, three, two. So layer one, row three, column two. That corresponds to a D. So that's the next letter in our ciphertext. And then we'll move on to the last three numbers. So we have three, two, two. So layer three, row two, column two. That corresponds to a V. So that's the next letter in our ciphertext. And we're gonna repeat the same process for this next group of five, and then this last group of five. And once you do that, you will find that this is the final ciphertext. So that's how we can encrypt the plain text, the dog runs fast, using the Trifid cipher with a group size of five.